Hello and welcome to this video. I am Tangu. I am Tangu. Singapore. Singapore. So the Rui Exchange. I have never played this person here on the ICC. And the reason is it's a brand new account. Well, not brand new. It's played in August, but it's a very infrequently used account. So we get this ending here. I'm not a huge expert, so, but we'll see. This is not something that I've ever played with black. So in some cases within the E4, E5 um, uh, universe, yeah, I know things because of my experience um, from the um, from the black side, but this is not one of them. So <clears throat> what's going on here? Can I? Hmm, I wonder about knight h4 and then f3 maybe. Hmm, and that misplaces the knight. I still would like to. Hmm. It's probably still strange, but I'm I'm kind of reluctant to let him take there all of the time. Maybe I can play h3. He goes back voluntarily. So I go here or f3. F3 doesn't really f3. I have no squares anymore. So this for a potential return. My pawn structure is good, but the rest is not. <laughs> yeah, well, the rest is not is a bit strong, but my pieces don't really um, do that well. Probably um, this position is roughly equal. But at least my, my feel here. Yeah, I wanted to get this back anyway, so let's do it. I wonder what he's up to with the knight there. Whoa, I was thinking I'd, I'm threatening knight g5 here strategically. It seems he didn't feel like that. Okay, so his bishop pair is, is gone. And uh, maybe let's fix this on a dark square. In general, um, I'm pretty happy about trading with the better structure here. Yeah. Yeah, he wants to provoke the move c3. I don't I don't think I'm complying here. Like F3 and then knight c4. Okay, so he puts it over there. Hmm. Huh. I have no idea where he is going with this. Like the check here doesn't do much. Don't, I don't quite get it. <laughs> don't quite get this idea. Is he trying to do something like that? Hmm. 
didn't have that on the radar really oh hoo, hoo. okay is it dangerous okay let's take here first it's probably probably uh, should be done anyway if i take he's got rook c6 potentially this is um an issue i can also play c3 here by the way take take c3 maybe yeah why not if he takes c4 i take b4 and i have and i have rook c1 c4 coming up that, that looks good huh? unless i'm blundering it <laughs> unless i'm blundering stuff might be yeah that's some knight e2 okay or stuff like that but but um Should get to the A pawn somehow. Bishop C five maybe is a move. Trying to a knight e two first. So let's do this. I wonder. Bishop C five, knight f six. It was rookie eight then. Bishop g5 I can play. This is an interesting move actually. I mean this is a triple pawn. In a king and pawn ending for example I could be winning with the four against three. Oh I'm missing obvious moves here yeah, that's not good. Wow, I, I totally missed this move. Ah, shoot. Time warning. Takes, I don't know, yeah. I should have seen the move. I mean, I'm not saying, I'm not really sure about it, if it is fantastic or anything, but I should have seen Check. it. And kind of had some kind of idea against it, but I didn't. So it takes this. Mm, that looks wrong. Yeah, maybe it's not wrong. I don't know. Looks a bit passive this move, but I mean, I'm having the better pawn structure here, and potentially also a good minor piece. I didn't see that. I just blundered the e4 pawn. Oh my god, I really should stop playing today. Giving away all those games here. Yeah. From a clearly better ending Check. to this. Oh my god. Check. And now I'm winning again. the problem. Check. Game 
game drawn. Yeah, I just need a couple of seconds. Wow, I blunder e4 in the ending. Oh my god. Okay, so um, yeah, this is roughly roughly theory, <laughs> certainly. It looks totally normal at least. Um, okay, so I maneuvered like this. I was very surprised that he allowed knight g5. I think this is probably a strategic strategic mistake. Give me the bishop pair. Or oh, wrong. Give up on the bishop pair. This position is certainly somewhat better for white and it's more or less confirmed by what the engine is uh, suggesting. So here I should plot I should play c3 here at some point. Yes, yeah, c3 just wins. Why didn't I do that? What did I do? This one. After which he still had this uh, this b5 with b5 business. Yeah, I'm not playing well. I just see three is is basically game over. Yeah? I take a5 for nothing, and this knight is totally misplaced. Yeah, so after after this, it's it's still. Somewhat interesting. Yeah, funny ending. Huh? I didn't see bishop uh, rook d6 at all. I mean, just not good. And now we get this ending. Check. Yeah, a blunder e4 later. Really crazy. Check. I mean, this should be a quite borderline ending, I think. The engine gives, should, thinks it's a draw. Possible. Possible. But why do I give away e4? It's just, just weird. I just, I just didn't see it. I mean, I know it sounds funny, but yeah, in this ending, uh, Black should win. Check. But uh, he, Check. he somehow, somehow gave me this. Check. And this is uh, winning, but it takes moves to check to get in. And uh, I mean, I came reasonably close at least. Yeah, it's just here yeah, a couple of moves till checkmate, but still, yeah, like five moves or so, and uh, you need like one or two more, one or two more seconds. Yeah, I'm giving away too many easy, easy points here currently. Okay, guys, thanks for watching.